Hey guys, this is all from guitarskills.com and in this week's video I want to show you a cool double stop idea with an organ sound that you've just heard me play there in the beginning and a double stop, if you haven't been following along with our latest double stop series is literally when you just play two notes together two notes together form a double stop now that's essentially all I used with this example, a double stop together with a pedal tone. So, so as you can hear, that is the line and it sounds cool whether you have that organ sound or whether you don't, but it comes from an organ style riff that's been adapted for guitar. So let's check out these double stops. First double stop is the third frets on the B and G strings, but then I'm hammering on to the 4th fret on the G string with my 2nd finger. And then I'm playing the G note which is the 3rd fret in the D string. And technique wise I'm using hybrid picking so I'm using my middle and ring fingers to play the double stop and then I'm picking down on the G note. And then I'm going to pick the 5th frets on the G and B strings together with my middle and ring finger in the picking hand. Back to the pedal tone, which is that fifth fret on the D string. So that's just a simplified version of the riff you heard in the beginning. Let me play it for you with the 12 bar blues changes. Alright, so start with that and as you can see, this is a blues in G, if I want to take that to C and to D. So it's just going to be my 3rd thing on the 10th fret, my 3rd thing on the 12th fret, to play C and D. It's a really cool vamp that you can use uh, to accompany another soloist, a singer, whatever the case may be if you're jamming the blues. Now if you want to add some fun to that in terms of even more double stops, so we add this one, we add that one, and remember each time we add the pedal tone, which is the G note, but now I can actually do this, so I'm going to put this in, that's a very very bluesy sound because I'm Hammering from that flat 5 to the 5th while I've got the 7th on top here. Especially with this organ sound. Alright, so that sounds very, very bluesy. So what I've got there is my 2nd and 3rd fingers playing the 6th frets on the G and the B strings. And then I'm hammering with my 4th finger onto the 7th fret from the 6th fret on the G string. So those are my three double stops. I've got this, this, and this. Back to that. And now if I add in the pedal tone, which is my fifth fret on the D string here. Yeah. 
Can we move it up to C? Up to D. To C. To G. To D. So a lot of fun without the, the octave sound, or rather the organ sound, it's going to sound like this. And you can just take it to D, to C, to G, back to D. You can do so much with that. But the whole point of this is just to show you the fun with double stops here. So we almost have like a chromatic scale happening here from the B flat. And then you just get a lot of color into your blues playing like that, making use of that double stop. So go and see what you can come up with even if you just want to stick it to these two double stops. Or if you want to add in. All right, so that's some fun with double stops, I would definitely encourage you to go and check out that pattern. It's gonna help you work on your hybrid picking where you have the pick picking this G note and then you have the middle and ring fingers in your picking hand taking care of the double stops. And you just wanna go slowly at first before you speed that up. So that's gonna help you to get some of that organ style comping into your playing. And it kind of sounds a little bit larger than live if I add in that organ sound from this POG 2. Uh, but whether you use that or not, it does sound like there's so much going on. But as you can see, it's literally just a double stop that I'm playing with this pedal tone. And the reason we call that a pedal tone is because I keep coming back to that same note. And pedal tones, of course, are very commonly used in guitar, all styles, rock, blues, jazz, country, you're always gonna have that uh, style of note happening in your playing, which is a pedal tone, and it really just kind of sets the stage for what we're doing over here. So really, I hope you enjoyed this quick look into double stops. Go and play around with it and see what kind of comping you can come up with making use of these super potent double stop voicings. If you'd like to get more lessons like this, then you should register for a free guitarskills.com membership today. Simply click the link in the description box and you'll get instant access to our private members area. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know what else you'd like me to cover so I can give you what you need. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because I'm going to keep these videos coming.